Hello, third graders. Welcome back to math. The beginning looks a little bit different here because I have my camera on my um, computer working, but we're going to work on representing fractions with our fraction circles. So what I need you to do is to get out your pink fraction circle like I have here. The pink fraction circle is the whole piece. Your task is to show one third of the pink piece. What colors in your bag of fraction pieces will represent one third of the pink whole piece? I'm going to pause the video so that you can look through your bag of pieces and find the piece that will cover it in thirds. Did you find that it takes three light blue pieces to cover a pink piece? The light blue pieces are all the same size. So each light blue piece is one third of the pink piece. So I'm just going to try to do this here. So here we have one one third piece. This is two one thirds and three one thirds. So it takes three one thirds to cover the whole pink. There's a more efficient way to write the number one third. So one third. Another way to write that instead of the word form is to write it in the number form like this. This means one third. All right. So when I covered the pink piece with the three blue, if you look in the lower right hand corner, the three means the three up here right there means third. So this is one third, this is one third, and this is one third. Each light blue triangle for the pink hole means one third. And one third means one of three equal pieces. Now I want you to get a yellow piece out of your bag. The yellow piece is the whole. I want you to find the pieces from your bag that will show one third of your yellow piece. You should have found that a light green piece will show one third of the yellow whole. I know this because three light green pieces cover the yellow piece. So one piece is one third. Here's one third. There's two one thirds and three one. Oops, not very good at this backwards camera stuff, you guys. Three one thirds. So each light green piece is one third of the yellow. Now I want you to get out your red circle. That's going to be your hole. So get out the red circle. Okay. And find one third. Which piece will represent one third of your red circle? Okay. You should have found that the orange pieces will represent one third. Here's one third and two thirds and three thirds. Okay. And if I take away all but one, the orange covers one third of the whole red piece.
turn to page 154 in your math journal. It's going to look like this. You're going to need your pieces out yet. They have one done for you as an example. So the whole piece is the pink piece. So they laid down the pink piece and they put down only two of the blue pieces. Okay. So what they did here, we remember it's going to take three to cover, but they only put two down. So this is one third plus one third, which is right here. So one third plus one third is two thirds. Here's one one third and two one thirds. And then they write it out with words, with the number two and then the word thirds. So if we take a look at number one, the whole is the orange piece. And they put down one, two, three green pieces. And it looks like it would take four to cover it. So there's one fourth, two fourths, three fourths. They wrote it in word form. Your task is to write it out in a number sentence. That's one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth. And that's going to equal three fourths. You can use your own pieces out of your bag to represent it. So you don't just have to look at the pictures on the page and then fill in the missing boxes. There are two important vocabulary words that we need to focus on when we're working with fractions, and that is numerator and denominator. With a fraction, and let's just talk about one-third. So the fraction one-third, the top number is the numerator. The bottom number is the denominator. So if we look at what I have down here in this lower corner, I have a pink piece and it's gonna take thirds to cover it. And I have one third, I have one of the blue pieces. With my fraction up here, one third, the three means that's how many pieces it's gonna to take to cover it, okay? The one means how many I have. So I have one third. The numerator is the top number. The denominator is the bottom number. The bottom number tells how many pieces there are all together. So there would be three all together. One, two, three. But I have a one for my numerator. So I'm only talking about one of those pieces, one third. In the back of your math journal are some pages that look like this. It says fraction cards, and it should say fraction cards. Um, well, we're going to go for pages 17, 18, and 19. I'm showing you page 19 here. But look in the back. Any of them that are fraction cards that look like this, we call these fraction circles. Any of these, I want you to take them all out of the back of your book and I want you to cut them out on the dotted lines, put them in a little Ziploc bag, and later this week we are going to work on playing a game with them. And the last thing that you need to do for today's lesson, and I apologize, I don't have the picture of the page up, but I want you to work on the math boxes on page 155 in your math journal.